Hey guys, welcome to this week's recap on RuPaul's Drag Race. This episode is the House of Fashion. And you know, I just wish this episode was way, way much longer. I felt like it was so quick. But anyways, where we last left off is Sugar being eliminated from the competition. So Sugar has left the building and the girls are all there for Spice to comfort her now that her sister has been eliminated. As they, you know, console Spice, there's some tea from Untucked that had to be discussed. So Marsha felt like she was second to winning the Snatch Game and pretty much the competition of last week's episode. But Mistress was there to check a doll real quick to let her know no 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 boo boo there's a lot other strong competitors than you you need to back up and you know i kind of agree compared to marcia and mistress mistress by far i feel like is more ahead in the in the competition i felt like uh marcia has a long way to improve in her makeup in her fashion in her presentation her personality is good i did enjoy her last snatch game but i felt like that was a big statement for marcia to make and you know i can understand a girl being confident in herself as she should feel but come on mistress did a really really great job like we we cannot ignore that And all throughout this, Spice, you know, she's thinking about her sister still. She's thinking about how there's other girls in this competition that should have been eliminated over her sister, Sugar. And as she says this, the girls are looking at her like, who's she talking about? And it's interesting enough, Aura, she confronts Spice and asks to share how she feels some more to tell her why she feels like uh, there's other girls that should have been eliminated. Who is the uh, Who are the girls that should have been eliminated? But luckily for Spice, RuPaul enters the room to discuss today's mini challenge. So Spice is saved from having to spill the tea on who she felt like should have been eliminated. So RuPaul is here and he enters the room and he discussed to say that the library is now open. Now we get to see these girls' reading skills because what? Reading is fundamental. So the girls overall, they did an okay job. Everyone had their laughs, they, uh, their little kikis. Malaysia, she read Sasha. Amethyst, she read Spice. Selena read Amethyst. But when Lux got to her read, I love how she read Malaysia. That was one of my favorite reads. She said that Marsha got her stuff from Marshall, Marshall, Marshalls. And I thought that was a cute little read. I really liked that one. And then finally, Mistress, she read more than one queen. I like when they do that. So that was pretty nice. So all the girls, Jack, Spice, Robin, they all did pretty well. Aura did really well. Sasha did pretty well. Lucy Laduca, she read all the girls down, all the way down. And good thing she went last too, because to go after Lucy Laduca, who read all the girls down, I don't know how you could go and follow up her presentation. So, of course, the winner of this week's mini challenge is Lucy Laduca. I'm very proud of my girl. That's for sure. So... RuPaul, he lets the girls know that they're going to be doing a fashion show. So there's going to be three houses of fashion based on home decor to haute couture. So it's going to be three teams. And interesting enough, I thought I was excited to see oh, how these teams are going to be divided. But the girls are going to be randomly assigned to a team. So there's going to be three teams. So team one is House of Cressley. House of Cressley will be serving town country chic furnishings using plaids and, uh, and horse prints. And not horse prints, and horses. Plays or plaids. I plays or plaids. One of those. Team two, House of Matthews, is going to be giving Sunny Palm Springs home couture using bright colors and palm trees. Then team three will be serving House Visage, which is home decor inspired by everyone's favorite Jersey girl, giving purple, purple sheet of print and velvet. So the individuals, they will have individual looks that 
have to also work together as a cohesive look. So the teams are separated into three. So in team one, House of Cressley, you have Jax, Selena, Robin, and Anitra. In team two, House of Matthews, we have Malaysia, Marsha, Lucy Laduka, and Sasha. And then in team three, we have Mistress, Lux, Spice, and Amethyst. So now the teams have been broken down and you know we get to know each of the groups and how they're working together with their concept. So in team three, Lux, she is thinking, let's make it a royalty theme. Uh, she wants to give confidence. She wants to give boss. And I see that from Lux. Lux, she, she's a girl with a plan. And she wants to execute. Spice, she is so funny. Spice, she's like, oh yeah, we can give royalty. But she's going to give a little bit slutty. And the girls look at her like, how is that those two are going to work together? And she said she has a tiara in her luggage that she can tie in the look together. So in their root moment, it comes to knowledge and comes into information that Spice and Amethyst do not know how to sew. So they will be relying on hot glue gun and pretty much a, a prayer, which is, is, is not easy thing to do. I, I don't know. These girls, when you come on this show, you at least have to pick up some classes on sewing. Like, you know, if you're coming to RuPaul Drive Race, that you're going to have to sew. In team one, Selena, she has a lot of great ideas and she wants to create big moments. So I was very excited based on how she was describing the direction she wants to go in with her look. So in their room moment, all the girls can sew, which is great, which is fantastic. So that's a good sign that we're going to see some looks being turned. In team two... Malaysia, her strategy is to go with her theme as a businesswoman on vacation. I'm excited for her to see her looks, but then I'm scared because she then says that she has never sewn before and that this is going to be her first time in the workroom. So I'm like... Oh, <laughs> I like your idea, but girl, but she's the type that has an attitude of fake it until you make it. So she's going to, she's going to turn out a look regardless. So she says she's going to turn a look. So no matter what, she's going to do it. Finally, to follow up with Spice, finally, the girls remember, they follow up with Spice, ask, so Spice, who do you think should have been in the bottom? And Mistress, she's like the hype girl. She's trying to hype the situation up to say, girl, just say which one you feel like should have been in the bottom. And I love Mistress for that because she keeps the humor in the workroom. And, you know, it's pretty much revealed that it's Aura. And I'm like, out of all the girls, I wouldn't think Aura should have been eliminated next. I feel like there's other girls that are not as strong. Like, Aura, we're just waiting for her personality to come out more. She can execute. Like, she could give a good look and a great presentation. It's just that we just need to see more of her personality. And, you know, she has to feel more comfortable to, you know, open up and do that. So, I'm not worried for her. I thought I would be more worried for Amethyst as, you know... I'm 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 worried for Amethyst because Amethyst she doesn't know how to sew, you know. Sometimes her personality can miss, but her presentation is like hit and miss too as well. So if anyone should be up for elimination, it should be Amethyst over Aura. Come on. And so we also have a moment in the workroom where the girls open up about their upbringings. and Jax opens up about being adopted by white parents. He was born in Puerto Rico, but his parents were from Connecticut, so he lived in Connecticut in his life for his childhood. And he would describe his childhood as being an outsider because he was like one of the three people of color in his high school, and that's a that's a that's a hard a hard situation to be in because you're always going to feel like an outsider. And his parents were the type of parents that didn't see color. And I'm, I'm like, how can you not see color? You do not see Jax. Jax is a man of color. So we cannot say that you do not see color. So it was great for him that finally from moving from Connecticut to New York, that he actually felt like a person because 
he was in a more diverse environment. As we know, New York is a diverse environment. So it goes to show you how, you know, how one's opinion of themselves can change just based on their environment. So I like that moment for Jax. And, you know, I like Jax when he opens up and he's not so rigid. I like that. Spice also shares with the group and pretty much we learn how he got into drag. He actually got in through drag by uh, doing dra drag on his toy dolls. So he, him and his twin would secretly have like dolls that they, they would say they would get for other people, but it was really for themselves. And then they would drag up their dolls and it would be a bonding experience that he would have with sugar and I thought that was so cute so cute and you know and so cool that you know they at least had each other to go through finding themselves so I know it's, the competition is going to be hard with spice and having ha not having sugar but it's definitely going to still be an experience for him that he will not forget for the rest of his life then we get to the main stage we see Rue and I'm like okay Rue we got a short cocktail look we're giving legs today it's monochrom monochromatic yellow look and we're giving legs so that was nice to switch up for rue for his look and we also find out that our guest judge is janelle monet so it's nice to see her as uh, to see cool guest judges for the queens. So of course the theme is home decor to hot couture. So first in the presentation we have house of visage. So for house of visage, first thing first we get mistress, and mistress she gives I give her a nine. I thought it was a sexy great start. It was a great leopard look. I loved it. Next, but, 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 but she always going to come with a little kitten heel. So that's the only little critique I would knock on mistress. Just a little kitten heels. Next, we have Aura. Aura, I gave her 8.5. I love the concept because she knows how to present like a whole look. The makeup and the hair was very, very, very nice. I, I love it. It looked a little bit flat, but, I, you know, it was pretty good. It was a good Put together look next for amethyst i also gave her 8.5 i'm because you know i was really concerned for the girl i was really concerned what she's going to turn out because before she wanted to do a short dress with sequins and leopard and yellow and i'm like ah but this one was not so bad. I, I I enjoyed it a bit. She turned out something. She turned out the look. What sold it for me was the bangs in her hairstyle. So that what really gave me more of a higher rating for her. Next is Spice. I give Spice today a 9.5. This The look I say is so Spice. Like... I really love it because she gave us a super, super stiletto heel, like a platform heel. Like, I loved it. That that makes it completely drag for me. And, you know, her makeup was beautiful. And she sold it with the personalities, you know. So I thought she did a really great job. Next, I would have to give it to Lux. Lux, she came out. She get, I gave her a 10 she completely nailed the look and i couldn't believe that her look was homemade i was so shocked by that i was like wow very impressed so after house of visage i was like this group you know really really did it but then bam miss robin miss robin i gave her look a 10 i'm thinking wow that is such a great star this this look that robin turned is like pretty much giving designer the designers will definitely copy this look but then right after robin we have Jax. Jax. oh this is house of cressley by the way so robin is serving for house of cressley i gave her a 10 but then Jax came out for House of Cressley, and I gave her a 
I was a little bit disappointed. I, f- I feel like we're always going to get this from Jax. Like, the critique I will always have for Jax is that she doesn't shape her body to her look. I feel like her look is always giving boxy. Like, I want to see dimensions. I want to see curves. I don't want to see box. I want to see curves. So I feel like there's a lot of improvement Jax can do. And I felt like, ugh. This is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate, but she has a long way to go. Anitra, I would have to give her a a, a 9.9. I gave her a 9.9 because I felt like it was a little bit similar to Robin's look. And I like Robin's look better because the shoes Anitra had on, I felt like it made the look a little bit flat and not as exaggerated. I like to see the girls in the big steppers, you know? So that's why I kind of gave her a, not a 10, but not, not a low score rating either, 9.9. For Selena, you know, I was excited at first. And then when she turned the look and everything, I felt like, mm, this looked like if I took my big comforter set and was modeling my comforter set out through the hallways in my own home. While I appreciated, you know, her big ideas, I gave her an, an A. I felt like this is this is just a really big look. It's just a big look, and I'm like a little bit confused. So I'm a little bit eh, a little bit uh, about it, but you know, I thought that was interesting. Next we have Sasha. And Sasha, of course, she is representing House of Matthews. And when I saw Sasha, I'm like, to me, I thought flat out that Sasha had the best look of the night. I gave her a 10, 10, 10. This girl, she really gave, she really gave it. She gave it. I was so gagged. I thought this was like a recreation of a J-Lo look that, oh my God, the the, the cover up? The cover up was magnificent. The other girls, I don't know how the other girls are gonna top this. I felt like this look was a 10 10 10 10. Like this, this I felt is the winning look. This is the look that I would have worn. Definitely for sure. Next, we have Lucy LaDuca. And I gave her a 10 too as well. I felt like she was giving sexy golden girl, sexy Florida girl, sexy girl from Palm Beach. I loved it. I loved it. Then we have Malaysia, and I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The girl, she she gave us a different color. She gave us a different color. Bright, I love to see her in bright colors. That pink, that pink, that fuchsia pink, my favorite fuchsia pink, I gave her that look a 10. I thought this is the best that Malaysia has ever looked, and this look is homemade. So I said, yes, props to her who doesn't even know how to sew. Like, yes, this is what you're supposed to do. Then Marsha, she came out. Mm, I said, why did Marsha come out last? I feel like I needed the ending look. I, I would have put Marsha to come in between the girls, but not last, because last, I think, should be the statement. So with Marsha, I was like, okay, girl, no, come out here looking flat. But you know, I gave her a 10. And I'll tell you what, I felt like this look was a 10. Well, no, 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 I think this look was a 9.9999999999 because I felt like this is the best she's ever looked in this competition. I felt like these girls, they said to her, listen, you ain't coming out here flat. So the skirt gave movement. It didn't look too flat. She put a little bit more makeup. So I liked it. I liked it. Next thing you know, Rue is trying to is tell us to the safe girls. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we're going to get another look. I wanted to see another look. Where are the looks? A fashion show with no fashion. How dreadful. But, you know, Rue, he tells us who are the safe girls. And he said, Mistress, I said, okay. Aura, okay. Spice, okay. Anitra, Lucy LaDuca, and Marsha is safe. So I understood the girls who were safe. It was, it was okay. Because I felt like the other girls who, are, who, are, who haven't been called potentially are really good winners. And so what, what we have now is the judges' critiques. So first we go through Amethyst. 
Amethyst, I gave her 8.5. But the judges, what they gave her as critique was that they were happy that she used less shadow on her nose. So she took constructive feedback. But they didn't like her outfit. They felt like her outfit was a bit lumpy. So they didn't like it. That wasn't a good sign. Lux, I gave her a 10. And the judges, they really, really love her pants. They actually compared it to Versace meeting Cavalli. And I'm like... What a better compliment than receiving designers could be compared to your look. And her walk was superior top 10. I even noted for her that they comments, commented her, complimented her about her confidence and how she exudes confidence. So I love that. Next for Robin. Robin, I gave her a 10. I felt like Robin had the killing look, like the winning look. They compared her... To her designs as a Vivian Westwood inspired, very sexy, very royal, and that she killed it. So I'm like, Robin, okay, Robin, you got this. Jax, she got a 9 point. I gave her a 7.8. And, you know, the judges, they don't know who that girl is. Who is she supposed to represent? Who does she embody? And, you know, when they ask you this question, that means you missed the mark, okay? That's not a good job. If you have to explain your look, that's not a good job. So they said that she could have done a better job at sewing and that she could have used more padding. And Jax, she knows how to sew, but, you know, they didn't really get to see that in this look. Selena, you know, I gave Selena an eight. Um, they said that it was doing too much. The fitting, the fitting wasn't fitting, but they gave her an A for innovation. And then for Sasha, I gave her a super 10. And they said for her, she, she, she gave glamour. The jacket was just beautiful. And I agree. I feel like Sasha is the winning look. Like she's the winning look. Her and Robin, to me, are the top ones here. And then Malaysia, I gave her a 10. And they said that she gave First Lady vibes. And that... It's impressive, and you know, her look that she turned out was really nice. They really liked her look. And Malaysia, she opens up and say that this is her first time sewing. So this is, she was very happy with what she was able to produce. And the judges are very happy for her because they couldn't really tell that this was her first time sewing. And then you could see Jax roll her face like, <laughs> you didn't have to say that. So now we know what, what the uh, the ratings are. RuPaul, he says that Malaysia is safe. And then Lux is our winner. And I'm like, okay, yeah, Lux had a had a really good look. Really good look. So I, we're agreeing. And then next, Robin and Sasha are safe. I was like, okay, you girls were close to being second. So I'm not mad. So now we have Jax, Amethyst, and Selena. And to me, it, it makes sense. I'm like, whoosh, Amethyst again? Girl, again. So he says that then Jax is safe. I feel like Jax, you on thin ice. Because I feel like for in terms of looks and fashion, I think Jax is not going to be a girl who gives you curves, who's going to give you padding, who's going to give you shape. Rather, she's going to have to rely on her personality and her performance in in the singing challenges and the dancing now when it comes to fashion and runway i don't think she's gonna make it as one of the top girls so i would i would keep an eye out for Jax. i don't know Jax may be in the bottom again in the future for sure so now we have amethyst and selena up for elimination and i'm like who you know for selena i was never really in love with her looks I love her personality. She has a strong personality, strong confidence. Amethyst, sometimes I like her look. Sometimes she misses. And she, you know, sometimes she cracks a good joke here and there. So I feel like this was a good matchup for elimination. So they sing Q-U-E-E-N, Queen by Janelle Monet. And I'm like from the jump, from the jump, Selena, she's giving movement. She's giving body. I know they call her Selena Estetis, but the thighs, she should be something with the thighs because those thighs, the way they were clapping, the way they were shaking, the way they were rolling, girl, she had this. Because Amethyst, I don't know, 
I'm this not enough presence on the stage. So and this is the third time I said this is an easy blowout. So for sure, Selena she wins and Amethyst is eliminated from the competition. And I'm sitting here like ugh, I needed more. I needed more of this episode. I wanted to see more looks. I felt like this episode could have been doing homemade fashion and then at home fashion something maybe to show fashion to show where they come from i thought that 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 could have been an interesting idea for them to do in this episode but i know they're crunch for time but i know rue is hearing all of us complain saying we want more time don't don't play like don't play us like this again so you guys if you enjoyed this episode please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time of your day to listen to my recaps. It's so greatly appreciated. So don't forget to spread kindness and uh, be on the lookout for more recaps coming soon. Take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.